Hello, welcome to our Vincent Academy. We are discussing linear equation in two variable and this is lecture number 12. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 11 before watching this part 12. In this uh, exercise, uh, we are going to solve this, some questions from exercise 3.6. And today we are going to discuss questions, uh, remaining questions of this exercise. I hope you did it, but uh, still I would like to solve this question. So question number 8 is there. 8 is there. And what is the question? That is 1 upon 3x plus y plus 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to 3 by 4. This is equation 1. And another one is 1 upon 2 times of 3x plus y minus 1 upon 2 times of 3x minus y is equal to minus 1 by 8. So, here there are two different uh, things. One is 3x minus y and other is 3x plus y. So, we can, uh, for solution, we can assume it let 1 upon 3x plus y is equal to p and 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to q. So, the system of equation, so therefore, equation 1 and 2 reduces to, reduces to form what P plus Q is equal to 3 by 4, 3 by 4 that is equation of third and P by 2 minus Q by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 8. If you uh, multiply by 2, that would be P minus Q is equal to minus 1 by 4. This is equation 4. On adding them, we will have 2P. Adding, uh, we will have 2P is equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is 2 by 4 and therefore P is equal to 1 by 4. Now, putting the value of P in third. So, from third, 1 by 4 plus q is equal to 3 by 4 and therefore q is equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2. Now, since p is what we have assumed 3x plus y, 1 upon 3x plus y. Since p is, since p is 1 upon 3x plus y so, therefore, 1 by 4 is equal to 1 upon 3x plus y and this implies 3x plus y is equal to 4. This is equation 5. Also, since uh, q is 1 upon 3x minus y, so that would be 1 by 2 is equal to 1 upon 3x minus y and therefore 3x minus y is equal to 2. This is equation 6. Now adding 5 and 6 because coefficients of y are same. So on adding 5 and 6 together, we will have this y, y cancel, y, y cancel and 3x plus 3x, 6x is equal to 6 and therefore x is equal to 1. And since 3x plus y is equal to 4, on x is equal to 1, that will be 3 plus y is equal to 4 and this employee y is equal to 1 also. So, x is 1 and y is 1 is the solution. So, therefore, x is 1 and y is 1, that is the solution. I hope you got it. Now, the next question is x is 1, y is 1, that is the solution. Here we can write and that will be x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. That will be the solution. x is 1 and y is 1. That is the solution. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. Is the solution. That will be answer. Now, the next question that is question number 2 of this exercise, uh, let us start from the new page. So, question 2 from the exercise, formulate, formulate 
the following linear problem the following problems as a pair of equation as a pair of equation equation pair of equations and hence find the solution Now there is a question and question number one is A. Ritu can downstream, Ritu can row, Ritu can row downstream, downstream 20 km in 2 hours, in 2 hours and upstream upstream 4 km in 2 hours in 2 hours find the speed of find the speed of the speed of rowing in still water still water and the speed of current and the speed of current so this is what the question is here let the speed of rowing in still water still water is x kilometer per hour and the speed of current current is y kilometer per hour then speed in upstream then speed of rowing in downstream downstream will be x plus y kilometer per hour and a speed of rowing in upstream is x minus y kilometer per hour. Now according to question it is given that row downstream 20 kilometer in 2 hours. So distance upon time is equal to speed speed is equal to distance upon time so speed in downstream x plus y is equal to 20 by 2 this employee x plus y is equal to 10 this is first and also there are 4 kilometer in upstream in 2 hour so 4 kilometer speed in upstream is x minus y and 4 km in 2 hours, so x minus y is equal to this is equal to second. Now, adding 1 and 2, adding 1 and 2, we have on adding this would be 2x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 6 because on adding this y and this y will be cancelled out. So that will be x is equal to 6 and for x is equal to 6 since x plus y is equal to 10 so x is equal to 6 y must be equal to 10 and therefore the speed of rowing the speed of rowing in a still water a still water is 6 km per hour and current is 4 km per hour. Right. That will the answer. So I hope you got it. Now the next question is here and language that is also from the language and uh, it is given that question number 2. Two women and five men. Two women and five men. Two women and five men. K 
can together finish can together finish and embroidery work finish and embroidery in four days in four days while three women and six men and six men can finish in three days can finish in three days right find the time taken by find the time taken by one woman and alone to finish the work one woman alone time taken by one woman alone to finish the work to finish the work and also that and also that one man can do it hello so the things which is required to solve this question is in how many days one man and one woman alone can do so let one man can do man can do alone in x days and one woman can do it in y days right one day one man can do one by x part of the work but and one woman in one day one woman can do one by y part right so one day because they can complete in four days two men can do in one day twice of the work two by y and five men can do five times of men can do so two by y plus five by x two by y plus five by x according to question is equal to in one day because the total work they can do in four days so in one day they can do one by four part of the work this is equation like now similarly for second part six men and uh, three women and six men so six by x and three by y three by y three by y plus six by x is equal to in how many days they can do three days so in one day they can do one by three this is it now no need to reduce them in linear form but uh, even if you want to do that you can do but without doing even you can solve it it is uh, not given in the question that uh, you have to reduce this in linear form so you can solve it alone uh, by using this fact so if i can multiply this by 6 and this by 5 we will have 6 to the 12 by y plus 10 by x is equal to 3 by 2 and if you multiply with 5 that is 15 by y plus 6 by 6 by 30 So five three is equal to ten by y plus five six is equal to thirty by x is equal to five by three. So because they have same signs, so we can change the sign and subtract it. So what we are doing is subtracting, subtracting. That will be minus three by y, and these two are cancels. That will be three by two minus five by three. So the thing will come like. Minus three by y is equal to three three by nine minus ten by six. 
So minus 3 by y is equal to minus 1 by 6 or y is equal to 15 days. 15 days. If you put the value of y in here, you will get the value of x. So putting in first y is 18. 2 by 18, y 18 plus 2 by 18 plus 5 by x is equal to 1 by 4. 5 by x is equal to 1 by 4. And therefore, 5 by x is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 9. That is 5 by 9 for your 36. So, x is equal to 36. And therefore, a man can do can do it alone in 36 days. Man can do in x days. No? I have taken yes. So man can do it alone in 36 days, while a woman can do a woman can do it in 18 days. I hope you got it. Now there is the next question and the question is third one. There is question number three. And this question is given here like that. Ruhi travel. Ruhi travel is three kilometer. Travels three hundred kilometer. Ruhi travel 300 km to her home to her home partly by train and partly by bus she take 4 hour Four hours. If she travels sixty kilometer by train, if she travels sixty kilometer by train and the remaining by bus and the remaining by bus. Okay. If she travel. 100 km by train by train and remaining by bus and remaining by bus remaining by bus C takes 10 minutes longer 10 minutes longer Find the speed of train and bus separately. Find the speed of train and bus separately. This is what the total distance uh, that has to be travelled is 300 km. And there are two things. One is train, another is bus. So let the speed of solution. Let the speed of train, let the speed of train be x kilometer per hour and bus e be y kilometer per hour. x kilometer per hour. So the time taken to travel 60 kilometer by train distance upon speed 60 by x according to question 60 km 60 by x and remaining distance 240 km by y the total time is 4 hour 60 by x plus 200 and remaining distance that is out of 300 if 60 is traveled by bus train then remaining 240 must be traveled by 
remaining 240 must be traveled by bus. If she travel 100 km by train, then 100 by x, 100 by x and remaining 200 by y, then she takes 10 meter longer, that is 4 hour and 10 minute, 10 minute can be written as 10 by 60 hour. So that is 25 by 6 hour, this is second, no? 4 hour plus 10 minutes, 10 by 60, that is 1 by 6, so 25 by 6 hour. Now uh, solving this 1 and 2, we can take 1 by x is equal to, or on simplifying, this can be written as this 60, if you divide by 4, that will be 15 by x plus and 4, that is 60 by y is equal to 1, that is third equation. And similarly, if I divide this 125, then that will be 4 by x plus 8 by y is equal to 1 by 6, this is what. So that is fourth. Okay, just simplify it. Cancel by twenty-five, and here cancel by four. Now, if I multiply one by x is say one by x is. So using the fact that uh, there is fifteen by x plus sixty by y is equal to one. Fifteen by x plus sixty by y is equal to one. And the next equation was 4 by x plus 8 by y is equal to 1 by x. 4 by x plus 8 by y. 4 by x plus 8 by y is equal to 1 by 6. So you can do this, multiply this equation by, say this one, a was third, and this one is fourth. That was the question. So if we multiply this third, third by what if you multiply third by four and uh, this by fifteen then what will happen x will be equal in that case fifteen four just sixty by x plus two forty by y that was already there it was four multiply with this one by fifteen so so this one by fifteen so that will be sixty by x plus fifteen x so one hundred and twenty by y equal to 15 by 6 that is 5 by 2 right then? so if I subtract this and this cancels and that will be 120 by y 120 by y is equal to 4 minus 5 by 2 that is 4 to the 8 minus 5 3 by 2 so 3 cancel this 40 times and 40 to the 80 so therefore y is equal to what is y y is 80, y is 80 and putting the value of y anywhere you can have like uh, if you put the value of y that is 80, y is 18 third, if I put the value of y is 18 fourth, so 4 by x from fourth. With that 4, 4 by x 4 by x plus 8 by 80 is equal to 4 by x plus 8 by 80 is equal to 1 by 6 1 by 6 so that is why this will be 4 by x is equal to 8 cancel this 10 times so 1 by 6 minus 1 by 10 and that will be Again, further 4 by x is equal to LCM is 30, 5 minus 3, that is 4 by x is equal to 2 by 30. To cancel this 2 times and x is equal to 60. So, speed of train is x, that is 60 km per hour, and speed of white bus is 
speed of train is 60 km per hour and the speed of bus is 80 km per hour and therefore answer is the speed of train is 60 km per hour and the speed of bus is 80 km per hour that is the answer to this question right so i hope you got it right now these are all questions what we wanted to discuss in this topic and uh, we'll meet that will be answer of this question okay so that's all in this chapter and uh, linear equation is completed now you can solve any questions of this category and definitely be able to solve it there will be no problem but before that you must revise all the complete syllabus before taking new questions and if you want to find notes and study materials and uh, tests online then you must download our app my app movisala from play store and enter the code institute code ars 2020 and then definitely you will get a lot of study material ebooks and test papers as well as the video lectures so please download the app and enjoy the learning thank you thank you very much god bless and uh, one more request if you haven't subscribed this channel do subscribe this channel and share to your friends and